Hey guys, it's Kayla and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my recipe for baked shrimp mac and cheese. It's creamy, the topping is super crunchy and I think you're really going to like it. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is boil one pound of pasta and you can use whatever pasta you like. I'm using mini elbow pasta and I'm just going to salt my boiling water. And I'm going to cook this for about 6 minutes until it's al dente. Next, I'm going to season my shrimp. In this bowl, I have 32 medium sized shrimp which I have already removed the shells from and I have deveined. And I'm going to season it with 1 tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. If you don't have Cajun seasoning, just mix together a quarter teaspoon of salt, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, cayenne and Italian seasoning. So we're just going to add one tablespoon of our Cajun seasoning and we're going to give this a good mix so that all of our shrimp gets properly coated in all of these flavors. When we're done, we're just going to pop this into the fridge to marinate for 30 minutes. Next, we're going to get our ingredients ready to make our cheese sauce. In this bowl, I have 2 cups of grated cheddar cheese, but you can use whatever type of cheese you like. And to this, I like to add half a cup of pepper jack cheese just to give it an extra kick. Next, we're just going to finely dice 2 tablespoons of onion. And as you can see, I am using red onion, but you can use whatever you have at home. We're also going to be dicing two tablespoons of garlic. And I want to encourage you to use the fresh garlic as opposed to the powdered, because this is really going to elevate the overall taste of your cheese sauce. So just make the extra effort and use the fresh garlic, okay? And it's cheese sauce time. So the first ingredient that goes into our pot is two tablespoons of salted butter and we're just going to let that melt. In goes our two tablespoons of onion and we're just going to cook this on medium heat for around two to three minutes. And then in goes our two tablespoons of garlic and we're going to give this a good mix and cook this on medium heat for around 2 more minutes. For our next ingredient, you will need to grab a whisk because we'll be adding in 2 tablespoons of flour. And we're going to keep whisking this on medium heat for around 3 minutes so that the flour cooks. And you'll see it start to thicken like this and you'll know it's time to add your milk in so in goes two cups of milk and we're going to keep whisking we're also going to add in one teaspoon of basil 1 teaspoon of oregano and 1 teaspoon of parsley. This is going to give it a really good flavor. We're also going to add in 1 teaspoon of black pepper and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne just to give it a little kick. And we're just going to keep whisking this on medium heat for around 5 to 6 minutes. And you'll see that the sauce slowly starts to thicken up like this and when it reaches this consistency we're going to take it off the heat and add in two cups of cheese 
and we're going to whisk this in really well because we want our cheese sauce to be super smooth at this point we're also going to taste for salt because depending on the type of cheese you used you may need to add salt and that's it our cheese sauce is done and we're just going to fold our pasta into our cheese sauce like this and if you're a fan of sloppy mac and cheese like I am, you can eat it out of the pot at this point. Comment below if you love your mac and cheese sloppy or if you prefer it baked. Next, we're going to grease the inside of our baking dish with some softened butter. And we're going to add half of our pasta mix to our baking dish and we're going to press it down ever so gently like this. Next, we're going to be adding in our seasoned shrimp. And I like to place these down so that it covers the entire surface area of my baking dish so that I get a piece of shrimp in every bite. And we're just going to add the remaining half of our pasta mix to our baking dish and gently press down like this. And at the very top of my baking dish, I just like to gently press in about a shrimp or so. The very last thing we're going to do is make our topping for our mac and cheese. And this is going to ensure that it gets nice and crunchy in the oven. So the first thing we're going to be adding is one cup of panko breadcrumbs. If you don't have these breadcrumbs, you can use whatever you have at home. Next, we're going to be adding in our remaining cheese, which is about half a cup of cheese. Followed by one teaspoon of basil. And one teaspoon of garlic powder. We're also going to be adding in one teaspoon of oregano as well as two to three tablespoons of grated parmesan cheese. And we're just going to give this a good mix. And we're just going to cover the entire surface area of our baking dish with this topping. And you want to make sure that it is evenly distributed so that you get an evenly super duper crunchy bake all around. And we're just going to pop this into our oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes, our shrimp will be cooked and our dish will look like this. But we want the top to be even browner, so we're going to broil this for around 3 to 5 minutes. And we're going to keep a close eye on it so that it doesn't burn and we're going to take it out of the oven when it looks like this golden brown perfection the last thing we're going to do is just garnish our dish with some parsley and that's it All that's left to do is just grab our spoon and dig in.
I am so excited. Just look at that. And it's taste time. How good does that look? Cheers, guys. And here's your bite. It is super creamy. That crunch on the topping just adds that extra element and it is absolutely delicious. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.